Yo, yo, it's dead in this town. You know, it's crazy. A lot of things has happened through the years. You know, a couple of things that the industry has been doing is making micro budget films. But from what I see, is that the whole market is changing. You got Apple TV that's coming out, and they're putting their all their original stuff in there. And then you got. Um, Netflix, of course, Hulu, you got um, Amazon. They're doing their own thing and stuff like that. So, you know, it's really difficult to compete with a lot of the big studios competing with those guys. I mean, they're having a hard time. And also you got web series. And now since consumer film gear is not as expensive as it was before, it's, e it's easier to go out and do your own production and then put it on the net and then you got the whole world looking at it. You know, I know at first it may seem like nobody knows and nobody... Hi everyone, this is your host here, Michael with Make That Bloody Movie With Coffee. And I just wanted to share with you the coffee of the day that I'm having. It's called Kick-Ass Dark Carose Coffee. Actually, it's a Canadian coffee and it's really good. Awesome. I mean, smooth, sweet, and just hits all the right spots. So I told you everyone, I'll be buying different types of coffee from the supermarket, trying it out and letting you guys know what the coffee of the day is. So pretty much today is my coffee. Your host, indie filmmaker JR, is drinking kick-ass, kicking horse coffee. That's what it's called. I don't know if you can see it right here. And smells great. It's an awesome coffee and I can't complain. So that's the coffee of the day I'm sharing with you guys. Stay tuned. I'm coming out with another episode of Make That Bloody Movie With Coffee. And the episode is going to be called, Can You Start a Mini Movie Studio From the Comfort of Your Own Home and Make Money With It? All right, everyone. Peace, love, and happiness. And I'm out of here. All right.